Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Vince Candela. This is your video weather notes. During the heat and humidity of a summer day, you'll often hear a concept called the heat index. Keep in mind that's a combination of the actual air temperature plus the relative humidity or dew point. Now the moisture that's in the air is extremely important for our safety during the summertime because the more moisture there is in the air, the tougher it is for us to cool off. That concept of humidity and specifically the concept of dew point is very important. Anytime the dew point is above 65 degrees, for most of us that's uncomfortable. Dew point above 70, that's really tough. The moisture that's in the air can sometimes be pretty invisible. So how do you make it visible? Simple. Get a glass of ice water. You'll notice after just a couple of minutes out in the heat and humidity, you'll see a, a thin little film of water on the outside of the glass. That's the moisture that's in the air condensing out on the glass. The reason the water, the ice that's inside is keeping that that outer surface of the glass very chilly, cooling it down to its dew point, and so that any moisture in the air is condensing right out on there. Uh, so that's moisture. We're seeing the invisible moisture made visible. But we can also feel it in our skin. Keep in mind, whenever our skin gets wet, it feels cold on a hot summer day, and that's because the moisture that's on our skin is evaporating away from our skin, and that's allowing our skin to cool. Evaporation is a cooling process. Well, when the dew point is very high, when there's a lot of moisture in the air, especially anytime that dew point gets above 65 or 70, then it's very, very difficult for moisture on our skin to evaporate and cool us off. So when our bodies perspire, when we're hot, that perspiration is there in order to evaporate away from our skin and cool us off. When dew points are high, that evaporation of that moisture is very inefficient and our bodies will heat up dramatically, overheat in fact. So when that heat index, the combination of temperature and moisture, gets above, let's say 100, you're going to start to hear heat advisories being issued. That's when you need to take it easy, stay in the shade, stay cool, and drink plenty of liquids, preferably water.